Hi, I'm Kier. This is Dave. We're looking out over Lake Geneva. This area has some fantastic road cycling to offer. Lake Geneva, the largest freshwater lake in Europe. In this episode, we tackled the Lake to Lake Loop, which runs from Lake Geneva all the way to the Valley de Joux, where the world's most intricate watches have been made for hundreds of years. We began our time in the region staying at the Hotel Base Neon, a cycling-friendly hotel in the centre of Neon. It's a lovely morning here in Neon. We've just spent a relaxing few hours riding around the little uh, old cobblestone streets with the beautiful buildings and the chateau. We've played up being tourists this morning and now it's time to head off on the road bikes and investigate a little bit of Lake Geneva and the region. Only 10 minutes outside of Neon, then we found a great climb, the Barriette. It's 13 kilometres at about 8% average gradient. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Oh, it's incredible. As you say, just a couple minutes ago, we were sitting down by the lake enjoying the sunshine. Now we're making our way up a, a real proper climb. Uh, and I hear there's a great view up at the top. just climbed 12k up from the city and we're looking out over Lake Geneva. We're at the top of the Barret. It's an absolute superb climb. Not very well known, but it should be. I reckon it's got to be on the tourist Swiss at some point in the future. Better make for a great mountaintop finish. Next up, we made our way to the Valley de Joux to take on more of the Lake to Lake loop. We're in the Lake Geneva region and we are tackling the Lake to Lake Loop today. A route with two fantastic climbs that I'm looking forward to hurting Dave on. You wish. The route isn't too bad. We've got two good climbs that go up to about 1400 meters. Nothing too severe, nothing too steep, but still a little bit challenging. There really is something for everybody here. The first pass we climbed was the Col de Marcherouse, which elevates to 1447 meters and has a maximum grade of 14%. The second pass we rolled was the Col de Morandruz, which elevates to 1180 meters and features a smooth climb with a picturesque descent. We're here in the Valley de Joux and we've just finished part of the lake to lake ride. It's fantastic riding around here with low mountains overlooking the lakes and this evening we'll be staying at the Bellevue Hotel. To finish off our time in the region we spent the day in the Valley de Joux, the birthplace of the Swiss watch. We found some new friends and we're at a restaurant where they make the local cheese, the Vacheran Mondeur. This region's been fantastic so far. We found a bunch of museums that are just a little bit different to what you usually get. We found a watch museum. This place, which is purely about the region, that has everything from how you used to sell ice off the local lake to how mammoths used to live here. <laughs> 